Dion Price, this youth generation, life skills through sports. Today's subject is the issue in simple term of respect. What does it mean? Why is it necessary? <laughs> Let's start with how it can affect you and how it can affect everyone around you. The measure of respect is given and also manifested. You give out a measure of respect. Today's youth generation has a very distorted perception of what respect is. To kick this off, let me share something with you. Mount Vernon Junior High, Los Angeles, as a middle schooler in the early 80s, we had a school teacher, a PE teacher by the name of Mr. Franklin. My good friend Darren Patterson and I would always tease the heck out of Mr. Franklin because he was, a, at that time to us, a very large brother, very athletic build, and we teased him. He was because he was a very strong-looking, large man. We called we teased him. We called him Spooky because he scared the hell out of us. And we teased this man and never called him by his name. And often, in his face and even down the hall at a safe distance, we would call him, "Hey, Spooky." And he said, "Hey, don't you disrespect?" Very disrespectful. But we had the entire school teasing this man, calling him Spooky, and he knew we were at the front end. We were the cause of this disrespect. And he hated us for it. You know, I was out of line, way out of line, way out of pocket. We were basketball players, and in his PE class, we were cool, but at the end, we would always find a way to get that in. Hey, spooky! And we would run the opposite direction. <laughs> we were knuckleheads, complete knuckleheads. On the last day of middle, of middle school, it called it junior high school then, uh, it was the last day, and I had to go in the hallway, and that's when he ran up on me. You know, the hallways are kind of dark, and out of nowhere, Mr. Franklin jumped out and grabbed me again and said, this is the last time I'm going to tell you, you disrespect me again, watch your doggone mouth. And it's, you know, he shook me up. I got to the way on the other end of the hallway. This is the last day of school, middle school. I'm going to high school. I never see these people again. So guess what? I got way down to the other hallway and guess what I yelled out? Hey, spooky. <laughs> and I kept running. I was done. I didn't think I'd ever see him. So blatant disrespect. Fast forward. At that time, it was only three years of high school, 10th, 11th, and 12th. So here we are, 10th graders, trying out for the basketball team during the winter sports session. Me and my friend Darren and a whole bunch of other kids. And they introduced the coach, come in, new coach, come to get us all in the gym. Guess who walks in the gym? Mr. Franklin, or as we called him, Spooky. It was a JV and varsity team all trying out at the same time. Mr. Franklin, as we call Spooky, recognized me and Darren right away. He looked right up. Oh, 50 kids in this gym. We were sitting down <laughs> in the bleachers. He pointed us at you, you and you, y'all two, y'all might as well get the hell out of my gym right now. Broke our hearts and we knew why. We had disrespected this man all through middle school or junior high school and it came back to bite us. So we couldn't even play for the JV team at that time. We had to go and do something else. The message in that is this. You never know how, how you treat a person because you never know when you will cross paths again. The message should be ideally you treat a person with a measure of respect, number one, because they're human beings before they're anything else. And number two, you never know how that will affect you because you never know that person may be a resource for you or he may have the, be the, the gatekeeper for the door you're trying to get into. And in my case, it cost me an opportunity to play on the JV basketball team at that time. So again, that thing respect goes a long way. It doesn't matter where or where the person is, what their accolades are. The rule of thumb is you respect people on the strength that they're human beings before their title, before they're anything else. And teasing can go too far, disrespect, they cross the line between having fun and being disrespectful. You should respect your elders. Any young person should know that's something you play around with with your peers, your friends, but not a grown man. Blatant disrespect, and we well deserved that bite back from being that disrespectful. To this day, I talk to young people of all walks of life and trying to get them to understand that measure of respect. You can be respectful the way you carry yourself, the way you conduct yourself, and the way you treat other people. It doesn't matter whether the person is the janitor cleaning up the building or he's the president of the United States. You give everybody the same measure of respect because they're human beings first, men, women, young adults, seniors, or what have you, before their titles. Respect human beings first. And if someone crosses the line and disrespects you, 
then that's another way of navigating around that. But you give everyone a measure of respect first and watch how that resonates in the long run. If you carry yourself with a measure of respect, how you represent yourself and how you treat other people, you will get that respect in return in the long run. Just a message, just a thought. This is Houston Rage and Deion Price, just a humble servant trying to make a difference.